Hi, I'm back here again in SwiftPos back office and in this video I'm going to be talking about product families and family associations. These are going to be used in future videos when I cover uh, more in-depth subjects which actually make use of families but for now I'm just going to cover the basics of what families are, how to create them and how to use them. So I'm going to start here in products and families and in this screen you can see that the the screen is divided into three main columns in the first column you have a list of all the existing families that are currently set up in the middle column you have a list of all of the unassigned products um, and in general that's a list of all the products in your database and over on the right there is a list of all the assigned products so these are products that have already been assigned to a family this first family that I've got set up here called all is probably going to be set up already in your database um, and it's simply a family that contains every product you have um, and that might be used in certain um, functions in SwiftPos um, it could be used for various different things it's a good idea to keep that family because it, you'll never know when it will come in handy um, you might have other families already set up or you might have none um, so for example I've got uh, quite a few set up here now there's lots of reasons why you might like to create a family um, and in general a family is really just another way of grouping a bunch of products together and then there might be any number of reasons why you might do that you can use families for use at the POS in something like a filtered search in the same way that we covered in the previous video with um, categories and groups um, and there are some other things that can be done with both categories and groups that can also be done with families but there are definitely quite a lot of things in SwiftPos back office that um, really require a family to be set up um, with a set of product associations um, for that function to be carried out again we'll cover those in, in future videos for now I'm just going to work through how to create a family so it's quite straightforward in the uh, families screen you can click on new down the bottom here and that's going to create a new family with the first available family number and you can change that to whatever you want so for now I'm just going to add the next uh, number in the list 27 and I'm going to call this uh, family juice Now because this is a brand new family, there aren't any products assigned to it just yet. So what I want to do is locate all of the juice products in this middle column and then assign them to the family. Um, at the top of both the unassigned and the assigned products column, you can see that there's a set of filters and you can use this to narrow down um, what is in the, in the list to find exactly what you're after. Um, there's also a field to search for the description of a product. So for now I'm just going to filter out the juice category which I would have set up in one of the previous videos and you can see there are all of my juice products. These can be added individually um, or subtracted from the assigned product column using the little plus and minus buttons here. So plus adds it and minus takes it away. Um, you've also got a couple of little arrows down here. Um, that just means assign every product that's currently in this list. Um, to the assigned products list and likewise you can unassign everything if you want to so for now I'm just going to go ahead and assign all of my juice products and save my changes so that's pretty much it for creating that family and it's very easy to do um, I've already created um, a toast family um, which I've added all of my um, toast products to we'll be working with those in in a future video if you have families in this list that you want to delete, it's quite straightforward. You can just locate the, the product uh, or the family in question, highlight it and press delete. It'll ask you to confirm that that's what you want to do and you can go ahead and do that. Now that's not going to affect the products that were in that family in any way. Um, so the products still exist in the database, um, they're just no longer assigned to that specific family. Um, products can be assigned to multiple families, unlike with categories and groups. 
um, you could have the same product assigned to three or four different families. Uh, there's no issue there. Um, if you come to delete a family that's currently in use somewhere else in the software, like this one for example, it's going to warn you that that product or that family is currently assigned to a particular function in the software. In this case it's a voucher action, um, but that also might be a mix and match or, or some other thing. But that's just a good safeguard so that you don't come and delete um, a family that goes and breaks something else that was implemented in the software. Um, to see the family association or to see where that family is used, there's a button down the bottom that says family association. If you click on that, you can see a list of all the different places where that family might be used and just by clicking through them you can see that um, it's probably assigned to a voucher action. Yeah, there it is. So you can see that that is currently used in a voucher action called free beer. Um, so if you did want to actually go ahead and unassign that um, family, um, y you know where to start looking. I'm going to close that screen. And I'm quite happy with the family that I've got set up here. And I can start using that elsewhere in the software. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a family um, and how to populate it with products. Um, and just a little bit of background about what families are and, and where they might be used. I hope this has been helpful. Um, I will be covering uh, or using these products, uh, product families, in future videos. And uh, if there are any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. And thanks for watching.